Well, away from the weather, and George Osborne warned today that further spending cuts are needed despite signs of economic recovery. The Chancellor suggested cutting housing benefit for young people after the next election. Lib Dem leader Nick Clegg called that a monumental mistake. Labour said it showed the Chancellor's plans had failed. Here's our political editor, John Bradby. You perhaps thought that with a new year and a recovering economy, austerity Britain with its endless cuts was a thing of the past. But nothing could be further from the truth, according to the Chancellor. George Osborne's basic bottom line is the huge debt hangover still from the big bust, and we will be paying for it well into the next Parliament. It is far too soon to say, job done. It's not even half done. That's why 2014 is the year of hard truths. The year when Britain faces a choice. Do we say the worst is over? Back we go to our bad habits of borrowing and spending and living beyond our means and let the next generation pay the bill? Or do we say to ourselves, yes, because of our plan, things are getting better? The issue is really that the government has promised to stop spending more than it earns by the middle of the next parliament, but hasn't yet said how it's going to make the sums add up. There is therefore a £25 billion black hole. Today, Mr Osborne confirmed what forecasters have been saying for a while, which is that £12 billion of further savings will come from welfare cuts, which implies that the rest, some £13 billion, is going to come from further cuts to departmental spending. So that's the Tory mass. But what about the Lib Dems and Labour? Would they also cut spending or raise taxes instead? I think they're making a monumental mistake in doing so, but they said that the only people in society, the only section of society which will bear the burden of further fiscal consolidation are the working age poor. You could raise taxes, but actually people have seen their taxes go up a lot already. You could cut spending, and there'll have to be some spending cuts under Labour, but the third way is more growth and getting people back to work to get the welfare bill down, which is rising at present. I don't think George Osborne's talking about that third growth and welfare leg at all. There are, of course, no easy choices. Would you rather cut welfare or raise taxes? How you answer that may well determine how you vote at the next election.